Hey there, this is Lindsay Perot, and I wanted to explain exactly how this online um, roll and solve game is meant to work. So the traditional version of this game has students working in partners. You'll give them one or all of the pages here. Um, I'm using decimals for an example, but I also have this for fractions and systems and expressions. Um, so they would have one of these or multiples and they would roll two dice, whichever two numbers they get would indicate the two decimals that they would add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Um, when students are working remotely, that partnership and that collaboration is removed. Um, so I wanted to figure out how they could still play this game um, while practicing their facts and actually being able to communicate with each other. So what you'll do is you'll have this assigned in Google Drive or you will um, copy the link and send it to a student. Um, you have to make sure you make a copy of this first because when you send it to a student um, they will well if you want you can give them edit access but make a copy first. If they have view access then they'll make a copy to their own drive and you'll have to explain how to do this if they don't already know. Uh, but once one student has it then they can invite a friend to play with them. So they'll come up here and they'll grab the share, the, click the share button they can either pass the link or type in the email address. Um, currently, it is set to can view. They will need to change that to can edit. So uh, when they play together, they have to both be able to manipulate the table and um, play and be able to chat and that kind of stuff. So they have to change it to can edit. They'll grab the link and share it. Um, I'm going to put it back to can view for right now. Um, and once somebody joins them, they'll have two icons, one for each of them, up here where you can see my um, mouse. And then this box will turn into a little chat bubble. And if they click that over on the right side of the screen, a whole chat window will open up. And this will allow them to talk to one another. And also, this will be how they share their answers. So you can assign them whichever one you want them to do. Um, so let's say you want them to um, let's see, multiply decimals. So they'll come up here, they'll type the skill here, and I'll do this just to show you. And then they'll type their name in here, and then their partner will type their name over here. So this is why they both need edit access. And then if you want them to be able to do more than one, they can duplicate this sheet. Um, if they just come on it and I'm on a Mac, just hit Command D, um, it'll duplicate. So then they can add the next one, and say you, this time you want them to add decimals. So you'll be able to see what they did for each one. Um, so I'm gonna delete that off for now, but let's say, so they're doing multiplying. So it'll be on this slide. Up here, there is actually a tab called dice. If they click this, they will roll two dice. So I rolled a six and a four. Okay, so that means I am doing 10.9 times 25.2. So I'm gonna come up here and type in 10.9 times 25.2 and this is so you know exactly what the um, problems are that they were doing and they can talk to one another about this they can just type the answer right in here they can type the answer to their partner first in the chat box it's really up to them and up to you but their correct answer has to be put in here and if a student disagrees they can in the chat box be like no hey I don't think that's right and they can explain it to each other. And if they want to change the formatting in here, they certainly can um, change the font. They can highlight the columns. Just, just let them, you know, have fun with it. So, and then partner number two will go. They'll be, they'll scroll back down here to the multiplying decimals one. Or if they just want to drag it up top, they can. Um, so they just have to click back and forth right here. They'll roll their dice by again coming up here. Dice. They'll roll two. They get a three and a four. So they multiply 14.8 and 25.2. So on their board, they'll go 14.8 times 25.2. Um, and then they'll keep going on until they're finished. And then when they're done, the student, or actually either of them, because they both have edit access now, could send this back to you for you to see that they did the work together. Um, it does not have to be a collaborative activity. Um, you can just assign it for students to do by themselves. And um, if you wanted them to do that, you could always, right here, just type in, um, type skill number one here and skill number two here, and you can erase out the partner part so they don't, um, 
you don't have to worry about that there. So I hope this works well for you. Um, I hope your students appreciate being able to have the opportunity to play a game together during a time like this and chat and um, discuss not only math, but um, just kind of catch up with each other.